for this zoo culture. Uh, we'll, we'll do like a deal. We're gonna do a deal. I have horrors to feed. Jacob has <laughs> horrors to feed? Yeah, but when the gym's actually open, I will do the first five people. We'll get a, a year for free. What is up everybody? It's your boy Frankie GLA and I'm standing outside the brand new location of Zoo Culture 2.0 where in the next couple of days I will be camping outside to make sure I'm the first person to physically sign up at the brand new location. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a wild one. Peace. Yeah, we're really doing this. We're really here, there's no turning back. I make sure to get everything from tent, to sleeping bag, to hopefully the cops don't actually kick me out because that's actually one of my concerns. Um, tent, sleeping bag, clothes, we're gonna be here for the next couple of days as long as it takes to make sure I'm the first person to sign up. Because in one of the videos that Bradley Martin posted, the first person to officially sign up gets a free membership to the, to the gym. Hey, you know us, we're brokies on this side, so anything free, hey, we're gonna take it. This is gonna be my home for the next couple of days. They're putting in the brand new equipment and just want to say that the equipment in here that I've seen going inside is phenomenal. Anything that's anything you've ever wanted to have in the gym, it's here. I'm super, super excited. This is going to be my brand new home. You can catch me here it's Monday through Monday. The bags are packed. Everything's ready to go. This is what we have to work with. We have, bam, pink sleeping bag because, you know, Real men wear pink and sleep in it too. We got a couple blankets because recently in Cali, I mean in LA, it's gonna it's been raining cats and dogs. We're like in the middle of two big storms, like a bomb hurricane or something like that, and another type of storm. I really don't know what it's called, but it, when I say it's been pouring, it's been pouring floods everywhere. So cold as hell. You see me? I'm in a beanie, sweat sweater. It's it's. It's going to be a cold one, and that's, I think, one of the biggest challenges for me. It's going to be the, the weather conditions, but we're not leaving. We're sticking through it until Saturday, uh, January 14th, 11 a.m., when this thing finally opens up. So we have our tent. It's happening. We're not playing games. We're doing this. I'm going to be honest. I've never, ever built a tent, and I think... But this is not even my tent. My friend let me borrow it. And uh, she threw away the instructions. So I'm going to have to play this by ear and figure it out. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, these are the sticks, huh? Yeah. How long do you think it's going to take you to focus? Fuck this, I'm going home. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> so I hope everything's here because my friend did point out that some stuff might not be here. Um, but, you know, because we're broke, we gotta, we ain't gonna buy a new tent. We gonna use what we got. All right, challenge one, complete. For the next couple of days, this will now be my home. Now, if everything goes according to plan, there shouldn't be any more rain, but the way my luck usually is, it might pour. Um, but that brings me to my second, second problem or the biggest challenge I'm gonna have. I need to use the restroom. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of like the more like fun part of things is just really seeing like getting a first first look of like what like it takes to like what's, what's going down to really make this happen i mean they really did this in like five weeks i think so that's pretty crazy to build a brand new gym obviously it took a lot more planning and everything in the last couple of months but physically 
I believe this took them like five weeks to really make it happen. I can see it now. Saturday, crazy shoulder pump. Ooh. Oh, cramp, 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 cramp. I did back today, so it's cramp. Ooh. I think that's one thing I'm gonna miss. I haven't missed the gym back to back days. I don't even remember when. So for these for these next couple of days, I'm not be going to the gym. I can't afford to leave this place. Aside from being the first person to physically sign up at the location, um, this is kind of more of a social experiment for me um, to kind of see what it's like living out here. Let's say there's a lot, you know, in LA, there's a lot of homelessness. It really goes down and um, especially during these times of how cold it is and the weather conditions that we have, it's just, I personally can't imagine, but I'm definitely going to find out how tough it is to really sleep out here in, in the elements, you know? Um, and, you know, a lot of things that we take for granted, um, like a house, a home, a roof over our heads, it's a luxury for most. And everything that I bought, uh, everything that I'm going to use, I'm going to uh, redonate it. After I finish with it, I'm not going to need it. It's going to be a one-time thing, so I'm going to give it to somebody, you know, maybe a homeless person out here that wants a tent, sleeping bag, some of the uh, blankets that I bought, so full circle. Uh, so I'm really tempted to buy a porta potty right now. Yeah, that I'm gonna have to go get a pee bucket. <laughs> Forgot my teddy bear. Book. When you read the culture code. What have you read? I haven't started it yet. I've had it for over a year and a half. <laughs> and that's it for day one. I mean, there's nothing really else to do, so I'm just gonna get some sleep because it's gonna be a very long day to tomorrow. So, catch you guys on the next one. So guys, the adventures of day two begins. And last night, he pulled up. I beat him here. His name is Edward. He pulled up like around, I say, 10, 30, 11 o'clock-ish. Um, scared the living out of me, but um, hey, I won. I'm still technically the first person in line. There's number two. We out here. You know, Let's but, but uh, what Ricky Bobby's dad said, if you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> Yeah, got got I got him, coach. So day two, I'm about to get my first meal of the day. Burrito. Um, yeah, overall, the night wasn't crazy. Uh, it got a little chilly, toward, like, like I said, towards the um, four o'clock. Um, it got actually pretty chilly, but other than that, nothing, nothing bad happened. Uh, no crazy people, uh, no police. So, so far we're off to a good start. Um, slept pretty great, all things considered. The floor wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Actually, my back feels pretty good. I, I was waited a couple hours to see how I, I was feeling. I feel normal. I feel pretty. I, I feel pretty fine. So, uh, and we're off to a good start, and let me keep you guys updated. So it wasn't such an eventful day today, but I did almost trip on that. <laughs> but they let us come in and get a sneak peek what's going on in here and can i say i am so so damn excited for all this my new home new home gym it's crazy shout out to these guys that are making it happen the legends the real the real mvps of everything but the machines in here are insane I, there's some machines here that i have never seen and i have never used but i've always wanted to use like the, the little squat machine here craziest leg day that we will never have because we don't hit legs this year though this this pectic fly machine top tier i'm so excited to use that i cannot wait i cannot wait uh saturday can't come any closer for one because i am really 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 cold out there I'm clean you guys it's not it's freezing it's seven o'clock right now and it's 40 degrees so it's been been chilled, to say the least. Oh my god, okay, day two 
it's coming to an end. I'm in my tent now. Um, wow, it is freezing. It's in the mid to 30s right now. It's barely nine o'clock. So uh, today is definitely gonna be a more difficult night of the week, but we gotta see it through. Got to see it through, my boy. See you guys tomorrow. Day two is done. Day three is on its way. The next day. Okay. What's up, y'all? We're almost in the last stretch, basically. We got a couple hours left. Uh, I wanna say it's been a rough, rough couple of days. Uh, losing my mind, my sanity is going. I'm cold, I'm tired, um, my brain is not working. But overall, I can't say that I didn't enjoy it, I did. Um, it put me to the test, it definitely got me out of the natural element. Day one was actually pretty breezy, you know. Uh, I got here, sat. Read, read my book all through the first day. Um, the nighttime was a little intense, but it wasn't too crazy. Day two, however, I guess I don't know if a cold front or something came in, but these last couple of days, day two, day three, it was insanely, insanely cold during the night. It got down to like 31 degrees. My, my hands were hurting, my, my, my feet were hurting. I was under blankets, I was under two blankets. And uh, what's that thing called? Oh, that's crazy. Sleeping bag. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, my brain is not working, guys. It's not working. Um, but I'm glad I, I experienced this. I saw uh, zoo, zoo culture go up from nothing to something, essentially. It, it was kind of on the works, but the progress that they made in these last couple of days was night and day, absolutely astronomical. Really. Today I really had a, a very rough one, the last day, uh, just because I was just tired. I was ready to go home, but all my friends came. Shout out to Raka, Vico, Alejandro, uh, Chalk, uh, Rhino, Steven finally made it, you know. And I'm here to prove you guys absolutely wrong. We are less than, what time is it? Eight, four, we are less than 12 hours away. From the big, from the big grand opening, where all this culminates, all this in the come and culminate together, and finally be worth it, so I can be the first person to officially sign up in the gym. And I'm very this this uh, experience. Not only was it was it cool for me, but to, it brought to light, as you guys know, LA is crazy, crazily impacted with uh, homelessness. Is a big problem in the LA in the LA County. And man, I just did it for a couple of days. People do this for months, years, you know, living in the street, trying to make it in this blistering cold. I feel like it was cold, but not as cold as last week where we got hit with storms, endless storms, endless, like strong, strong winds, flooding in the streets where you, they literally had to pack up and go. And I, they went just because they got too, too extreme. I'm not even considering what they had to go through and, and, and endured before they even got to that point like this is too much you know and this is i i was able to get, have friends bring me stuff you know it's just hit hit too hard you know it you know if you guys can volunteer or uh, give to the homeless i absolutely Oh, that's probably, like, because I that it is a big problem and this just you know I, I I can't even put it into words it's, it's, it's a suffering I hope you guys don't take it for granted please realize the big blessings that we have a day in and day out you have a roof over your head you got money in your pocket you got clean clothes and you have running water those are such big blessings that do not take for granted guys because it will go away like that and I hope I don't end up ever ever need to sleep in a tent in the street ever again I think they talked to you all yeah so I'm 65 hours in to this experience and I mean look at this place tomorrow everything everything's set up I'm almost done 12 hours away from the big grand, for the big grand opening and it's gonna be literally the name a zoo in here. can't wait day three is coming to a close thank you guys for joining me I'm gonna catch you guys Tomorrow. Peace. A few moments later. What's up, everybody? The day has finally come. The grand opening of Zoo Culture 2.0. And this is what we've all been waiting for. This is all the sacrifice, the hard work, the restless nights, the uncomfortable nights, being out of my element. 
not being used in the restroom, everything comes down to this. This exact moment. And the reason I did it is if you look all the way down around the building, it's slammed, jammed, packed. I'm the first one to make it. I did it. Challenge complete. We're literally two hours away from 11 a.m. where the gym opens. And I'm excited and I can't wait. Watch what happens today. And none of this will be possible without our very first sponsor of the channel, Historic Labs, best supplement company in the game. We have the pre right here, Mount Olympus, my absolute favorite, Zeus, uh, blue raspberry, it tastes amazing, gives you great energy, great focus, great pump. It's by far, I've tried every single pre-workout in the game, by far my favorite, best hands down. Uh, so shout out to them, make sure you get yours. Use code FrankieGLA for 15% off. And thank you. We're here. The squad's here. We're about, to, we're about to have the craziest workout. Yo, you squatting? Huh? You squatting? Yeah, of course, yeah. So it's chest day. So it's chest day. <laughs> so we were checking out, you know, the birthday video that we did for you. Which one? The, your birthday video. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it turns out that, you know, in the video, and there's proof, I have a bigger back. What do you guys say about that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, there's probably video there's probably proof in that video that I have bigger calves too. So <laughs> Yo, cut this shit, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> so check this out. This is where the line starts. Wraps all the way around the whole building. And that's the end of it. We can see it from the front. And everybody was wondering why I wanted to camp out for so many days. This is why. We're moments away from grand opening, and you know, before we start, I gotta get my, uh, my pre-workout in. Historic Labs is getting me right. Listen, I've been here since Tuesday for the reason being that I want to be the first person to sign up at your gym. Bro, I appreciate you. You really been here for it? Yeah, been here for the outside. I'll go down. I had guys messaging me about you saying that they're outside camp bro. Yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm ready. Fifty people. But I gotta do it. How do I sign up? Right here. Where is it? Right here. This is it. This is what I've been working for. Over 70 plus hours of the blistering cold on the concrete. It comes down to this. He wants to sign up. He wants to be the first one. So all I know is in the video you said the first person to sign up gets a free membership. Did I say that? Yeah, it's crazy. He said lifetime too. And and he said he's on tour in one training session. Damn, did I really say that? <laughs> I did. Uh, I lifetime and a free okay. training session. Fuck it, dude. Oh, that's it, boys! <laughs> we made it! Dude, you did say that for real. I did say that for real. Yeah. I said that for real. A thousand percent. I'm a, a thousand percent. I'm gonna clip it. it I'm gonna clip it in. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, you gotta give him a free membership. That sucks. That's it. That's <laughs> Thank you, man. It means the world. That's fucking crazy. We did it, boys. We did it, but everybody else gotta pay. Yo, you really said <laughs> You did it, baby. This is all. This is this is it. This is what we work for. I'm gonna get a juicy pump. This is gonna be the best workout I've ever had. Can't talk to girls. Thoughts into the uh, coming into the new uh, gym. It's dope as fuck. Dope as fuck. The environment's crazy, bro. The line literally wrapped around like twice. I was in the rain. Not, not for him though. He just walked in. He's lying. I did it. That's listen, crap. listen, for, in the rain. listen. Felipito was right there. He's like, yo, I'm here. You know, big TikTok daddy that's himself. Cap, that's cap. No one knew me. They're like, who that's fat being there? They thought that ballet. <laughs> they thought the ballet for a second. Yo, I don't they try to get him. I don't bark. Hey, you should have taken the make back, yo. Nah, it was like Hondas. Oh, it was a Honda spot. Motherfucker got money, though. Motherfucker got money. <laughs> I had to so what's your thoughts and opinions going into the fight you got going on? You know, it's a huge fight. Uh, for me, you know, my mentality is, you know, how big it gets. I stay calm. I know it's just a fight at the end of the day. So that's how I look at it. What's your, what's, what's your top uh, 
focus going into it? Like, what, what's the, well, one key thing that you're like working on or trying to execute the most? I think just uh, making sure that I get in the best shape of my life, you know, making sure that I'll never get tired in the ring. And from there, I feel like my skills will, uh, will win me the fight. So uh, I just know I have to get in there in the best shape of my life. That's all I know. I didn't realize it was that difficult. Look at this shit, it's insane. We're looking for Steiny. We're on the mission to get Steiny a shot. You want a shot though? I'll hit that shit. Come on. Fuck yeah. I'll take it out the bottle. I'll do it. Oh, okay. Swig that shit. Swig it. Go. God damn. 42 boys are at Zoo Culture. What do you guys? You guys You guys make content? What do you guys do? Yeah. We're alcoholics. Oh yeah? Okay. Come on. Cheers, man. Did you buy this? What about it last time? Cheers, cheers. <laughs> He's like, woke you up? Warm you up or what? Yeah. I'm literally gonna say. Pour it up. No, fuck it. Take it. Nobody drank out of the bottle. That's literally good shit. It's for you too. <laughs> fuck yeah. One this was it. This was the last one. This was the last one. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Yeah. Of you. Hey, we gotta see it through. Everything we do, we gotta make it class. Are you gonna take a shot? Let's do it. You, no, I don't want a shot. You oh, then, I'll take a shot. Hey. Cheers. Congrats. Listen, listen, no, I camped out for four days to make sure I was the first person to officially sign up at the gym. So this right here is a celebratory shot. Hell yeah. Woo! Got the 1942. I know the 42 boys had to make an appearance at the zoo. It's a cause of celebration. Be outside, having a good time. We gotta pump in, and now we're gonna get our drink on. Come on! Come on let's there you go. Ah. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Let's go! 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 Oh, fuck. You gotta take one more. You gotta take one more. Easy. What? <laughs> that was a fake shot, too. That's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who brought this? I got, a couple, I got a couple in the car. Oh, let's go. Yo, you got a, he got a free membership for life. He slept out this bitch for like three days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. He slept out here. He got a free membership for life. Hey, man. Hey, appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. I said it. I told hey, you that. Listen, he changed my life, man. He, he got me from a very, very dark, he got me out of a very dark hole and a very dark time in my life. I found Zoo and I was, I was nowhere where I am today. So thank you for continuing, even, even during COVID time, fighting for us. You didn't fight for yourself, you fought for all of us. All the community, everybody that was going through shit. Like, you really made it happen for us. Thank you, man. That's good. When I say it was a dark time, it was a dark time. The way that you talk about suicide, the way you talk about just life in general, bro, it really sparked a crazy fire under me. I'm telling you, bro, I was two, I was like 278, you know, and now, and now it's a bulky season because I lost my ass, you know? <laughs> so thank you, bro, thank you, and you for everything. Thank you.